Hello and welcome to episode 50 of Idol Slayer 100% Achievement Journey. 50 episodes in 16 months. Seems like an anniversary montage would be in order, but we'll see with Christmas coming at all. In this episode, we'll complete Joey's quest, explore the new patch that includes bonus stage 3, and we'll get Kristoff. This is the only footage I have before the patch because I didn't have time to play. I'm going to complete Joey's quest, but I noticed after that while I was preparing for episode 50, I farmed a bit. Joey's amulet plus 0.01 souls bonus for every equipment level. It really seems to increase my SP gain by a lot. Do you feel the same? Please let me know in the comment because you're gonna see some numbers throughout the episode and I really feel like this makes a big improvement. So we'll do that and then we'll jump right into the new patch because that's all I had like I said I didn't have time to play. And check this out, the soul compass which I rarely use. You can see that I'm fighting a giant but the timer is still going down but not the gemstone one. That's because bonuses you get from boxes are frozen while you fight giants, they call it slow kill giant or something like that. But this will influence the decision I'll make regarding divinities later on in the video. So let's explore this patch. Uh, first of all, I'm going to ascend. But before doing that, I make the decision to spend a little bit. Here, plus 50 times for rage mode, 50 billion. I know I'm going to be stuck in this ultra ascension for a while. So why not doing this? And I'm still aiming at getting the 500 billion upgrade I've been talking about for several episodes. We're going to ascend and reach a number I was talking about, I think, last episode which is 1 trillion Ascension CPS bonus, this is the most I ever got. This should help me maybe eventually get the 10 QT per second income uh, achievement, but I won't get it in this episode. Here I'm getting slimed back because I spent a little bit for uh, rage pills, things like this. And uh, the claw, 95, that's fine. Unlock Kristoff in the Jewels of Soul tab. So I got a bit surprised though because I didn't know I would have to spend Jewels of Soul to get it. So I had to think about it a little bit, but because I'm making a series on this game, that's why there's a jump cut here. Of course I'm going to get Kristoff. First I'm going to open a bunch of dragon eggs. Unfortunately I don't remember how much I have and these are two quest so this is for better magnets and this one gives me a merchant quest which I cannot get yet because it's very expensive but these are two new quests in the patch I'm gonna complete them what I need to do is kill electric mobs and I was lucky to be in the right zone for that and I want Kristoff I'm going to pay some real money to get it just so I can show it in this episode well, yeah, I don't remember how many eggs I had, and it's pretty long to open them all, so I'm gonna cut the whole sequence. You've seen that in the past anyways. There you go. So we cut it off. I'm gonna show you how many jewels or soul I got to save some money. And getting this character will cost me about $6. And I said, ah, oh, why not? Why not? Because it's a limited edition character, and I wanna show it in my uh, series. There you go. So I completed the two quests I was talking about and let's see how much it costs to activate the quest package that I will gain access to and it's 30 SD this is a number I reached in the past but it's gonna take a while I need to be lucky with uh, random boxes have nice bonuses to be able to buy this eventually I'll be able to do it I got level 100 claw my record is 150 and uh, I don't know if I should ascend or not uh, or just wait until I get a 3D SD. We'll see next episode. What I'll, well, not next episode. Following episode. Episode 52. What I'm going to do because episode 51 should be a guide for bonus stage 3. Because yes, we'll do bonus stage 3 today. That's what he looks like when I zoom in in a moment. A little bit. So that's what this character is about. Crows, snowballs. And I uh, decided to get it. Didn't have to, but once again, because I'm making a series and it's such a special series in this channel, why not spend the $6? Okay, so I'm going to buy something that... Uh, okay, first of all, 
notify this thing that enables you to slowly kill giants, right? And you saw the amulet timer going down. I don't feel like this is really that essential. I'm gonna shut down Silver Death as well because I'm preparing for bonus stage 3. I wanna do it on hard for the guide especially. So now I got a lot of divinities. I gotta be careful how I spend it. I don't wanna be stupid, but I will buy this. I should have bought this a long, 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 long time ago. As I explained over time, it was no longer worth it because I'm not disciplined enough. Just buying bonus stage 3 here. And now the pink blocks are individual for each stage. So this is the bonus stage 3 one. And this is interesting. I didn't understand it fully, but what happens in is once you're done with the portion of a bonus stage, any sphere you get gives you a speed boost. You're gonna see that when I do bonus stage three. This is bonus stage two ping blocks. But now I'm stuck with bonus stage three. The only way to get rid of this thing is to uh, retro ascend. Look at that, 50 trillion, really? If you have silver death, dark divinity, and you get spirit boost, it removes the saws for any stage. It's quite nice, but it's 50 trillion and it's not astral. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's really intimidating. This is a very nice minion for 3 trillion, which is absolutely insanely expensive in my view, but eventually when I can afford it, it's going to be an amazing one. And unfortunately, I see above the minion, there's another node that I missed completely, so we'll look at it in episode 52. Unfortunately, I missed it. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's go in the desert. You see I skipped the key. Sometimes I do that. When I don't have any valuable bonus, I don't even bother with treasure hunt anymore, to be frank. Okay, bonus stage. This is bonus stage 3. My first try on hard mode, okay? I never seen it before, this is my very first try, but I'm playing on hard mode, so I think I got 4 less seconds. So I will just react to what I see. And I'm gonna start on the right foot, but after that, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty bad. Okay, so, good start. Said, okay, alright. Because I heard it was really difficult when I read the Discord comments, okay? So, so far so good, and again, my guy has to be on hard mode. And you see how I'm getting speed boost when I'm picking up these orbs? And look at these big, they call King Goblins. Anyways, they gave me 28 million Slayer points. But then, part two, look at that. Wall jumps and I said, what is going on? <laughs> so I see how I fall, so I wasn't used to it. So now I'm mashing click to try to do wall jumps. So part two is really the problem with bonus stage three, uh, especially on hard mode. So with 27, I need 38, 29, 31. No, fail. Let's try again, second win. I want to show you my second win. So I failed hard mode three times. Then I removed hard mode to get those four extra seconds. I hope I'm not mistaken with the four seconds. I think it's four seconds. Then I tried on normal. I'm going to show you on normal a bit later, you'll see the difference. So I'm a little better with the, <laughs> the, the wall jump, but it's my first try, I mean, I'm not gonna succeed here. 28, 30, nah, 33, no, I can't do it, it's too hard for me. So I'm gonna have to really practice a lot before I have the credibility to make a guide. I want it to be episode 51, the normal guide, I mean, without anything. Imagine with saws and stuff, it's pretty difficult, I find, but with practice, maybe we'll be okay. I decided to check the village, but I found nothing special. Okay, so after having failed three times on hard mode, this is my first try on normal. First try on normal. Check this out. But the guy, again, has to be on hard. Has to be. Anyways. So, uh, here, I, I, I'm doing worse than I did the first try ever. I gotta fall here. See, jump, small jump, fall, small jump, small jump, small jump, fall. Because at first I jumped, it was pretty bad. I gotta fall here, not jump. So, okay, first part, no problem. Especially now that I have more time. And let's try this part two. And you're gonna see. Well, anyways, I don't wanna spoil it. 
check this out. So part two on normal, so I have more time. No, I fall. It's like I'm, what I'm doing is I'm kind of mashing my mouse. I fall again. So I'm gonna fail here, will I not? I'm mashing my mouse when I hit the wall, try to do wall jumps. I'm really not used to do those. Never use them, by the way, ever uh, in any stage. Look at that, 37. I got it. Because you have a lot of time uh, as a buffer if you play normal. But again, I'm being tough on myself, but if I want to make a guy, it has to be on hard. With practice, I know I can do it. Now it's my first time ever in zone three, part three, okay? Part three and four will be my first time ever, never seen it, so I react to it as I see it and I'm doing it wrong right now. I completed it, it's fine, but I'm gonna have problems in part four, you're gonna see why. And you're gonna see the learning process too. So the real problem with this stage is really part two. I feel like with enough practice on hard mode, part one, three and four, I know I can do it. Here I jump too early and here I should do a small jump like I just did. Jump too early. Okay, I'm gonna fail this part. I'm gonna need a second win. So, what I discovered here is a big jump that I need to do, like I just did, and this a small jump here. If I do that, I'll be fine. I'll learn it. Well, I learned it as I was doing it. I said, okay, let's try again. And what's frustrating? When you fail, you want to try again. You need another pink box that sometimes takes 15, 20 minutes before you get one. And now came to my senses and look at that big jump just before the wall and it's working big jump before the wall big jump before the wall nice sometimes I forget to do a small jump here here I should do a small jump too so I think I'll be fine on hard mode here too it's really part two with those wall jumps really annoying and when I start adding saws and stuff it's gonna be a nightmare but let's do it one thing at a time as soon as I can do it on hard mode with nothing I'll make episode 51 like I did for the bonus stage one and two, a normal guy to try to help. Okay, it's not easy. I'm gonna have to play a lot. So this is today, by the way. I was supposed to re release this video this morning, but uh, Christmas is coming, so I'm pretty busy right now. Anyways, uh, we're gonna take a look at achievements. First of all, I'm going to go in the jungle for the daily quest. And let's check out the achievements and there's something that I realized I forgot. I don't know if you noticed early on in the video. I had the 50% gemstone thing. It should give me an achievement, but I already had it. And I realized I had a screenshot of that achievement. I'm going to show you which one. There's nothing to show here, by the way, else than what I'm talking about. Uh, not this one, but this one. I had a screenshot somewhere. But unfortunately, I kind of lost it, so it's gone. So that would be it for episode 50. Um, well, I need to practice a lot. Part 2 of bonus stage 3, especially on hard. And as soon as I'm able to do it and understand it, and I'm able to explain it, I will give you a guide, which will be probably episode 51. Better be. So I'll try before Christmas. I cannot promise that to you. But I'm leaving in about a week. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the description bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. I invite you to join our Discord. We are close to 200 members now. And if you are a Patreon supporter, you get a special role. See you around.